Hello everyone, I'm Monarchist Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here in a new campaign, of course, playing as a very special nation. Oh, maybe a little giveaway there, but you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you know exactly what's going on. So, we're going to play as Portugal. Good old Portugal, right now led by Salazar. Uh, they have an unreliable army, and they have an unstable republic. A good time. But, one thing I do want to try, that I might regret later on. Let's take that off. Custom game rules, just going to be default. I'll let everyone go random, no idea what they're going to do. Colonization, I don't even care. So, let's just get started in Portugal. I don't know what's going to happen, but I what I want to happen is that we can reinstitute the monarchy. And have a good time with everyone. So, playing as Portugal isn't easy. It really isn't. <clears throat> but first, let's go and do production and... Uh, what do we want? Land Doctrine, eh, superior firepower, because... Mm, maybe. Let's do electronic engineering first, actually. Alright, so we got a couple divisions here. 18 of these bad boys. Just throw everyone on the line. We'll assign Luis. Thank you. Led by Jose. I don't like that. He's got politically connected as well as an old guard. No, thank you, Mr. Garbage Man. Uh, do that. Porto. Do Garda. And we should do our first focus. So, to become monarchist... Actually... I had to go straight monarchist as fast as possible, just because of the way it works, because of how much stability you have. So, we're going to go with Estado Novo first. We have followed the principles of corporatism and autarky since our 1933 constitution. The surest path to greater national strengthening is to further emphasize this approach in building a new, more powerful state. Because everything can go right when you empower the state. So, our navy, not going to look great. So I'm going to make a lot of subs for now. It'll be what it'll be. Uh, more guns. More artillery. Muy bueno. Um, what are we going to do? You guys come over here. You guys do that. Let's get our n Air Force, actually. Leave an Air Force. Couple planes. Close air support. No, thank you. Uh, I'm going to just use tactical bombers if I can. Get up to 100, which we'll never get to, maybe. I don't know. And we've got a couple ships. Everyone come to Lisbon. Oh, unless you're already here. We have Jose Mendez Cabezadas. Oh, he's an old guard. Why? Why must they be old guards? Go ahead and train. I don't care. Cool. And let's get this show on the road. Very good. So, we're doing okay. What we really want, though, is Brazil to become monarchist. And honestly, I could spend my civilian factories to make more civilian factories, but really, we need to have some intelligence. So, let me double check. And what, do we, what shall we call this? Actually, what are we going to label this first? Hmm. I kind of like this one. Crossbow. Create an agency. And we want to rename it to something else. What are we going to call this? Let's call this the Policia Internacional y de Defesa do Estado. I hope I spelled that right. Close enough for now. Um, this is actually from this title, which is basically what was already there, just spelled out. Uh, this is from one of my mods who requested that I put that in as the intelligence agency's name. Awesome. Cool. Nope, and let's let time go on because there's actually going to be a lot of time that needs to be displaced. But we want to flip Brazil as monarchists as fast as possible. Sure, we'll become monarchists ourselves, but to become and unite these countries together, you both got to go monarchists. And basically, I try this actually quite a bit, trying to get Brazil to become peacefully monarchist. That's a little difficult. And basically, it's so much easier to just go to war. So that's the main thing. And honestly, with Portugal, it's a little uneventful in the first half, unlike Spain, because, you know, Spain likes to go kaboom, they got decisions to take, where they want to maneuver, politically maneuver, generals, divisions, and stuff like that. Oh, and we're not training any soldiers. That's not a good idea. Go ahead and train two for now. Um, actually, raise you up, because that's a better division than what these guys have, which is literally just two battalions, which is really not good. Oh, and we have it. Great. Oh, we need tactical bombers. Uh, that one. There we go. However, I do want to create uh, spies as fast as possible because I'm going to need them 
Eventually, probably, but I don't know much about it. So let's just go ahead and form a department. Sounds like fun to me. And in about a month, we'll have our first spy. <laughs> good, 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 good. Let time go on. We're training a lot of naval XP, which is good. Also, one thing I do want to note with this Loud Resistance DLC is compliance. Now, I don't know much about the compliance system. Right now, we're using the default civilian oversight, which doesn't exactly help us with compliance, but it's it's okay. It's okay. I'll put it like that. It's okay. Uh, let's see. We get less resistance. Compliance will go down if you choose anything more than civilian oversight. And we're at peace, which is okay. We could do no garrison, but I don't want resistance. And right now, this looks all okay. So, not really going to mess with that. An operative can be recruited. Constance? A uh, natural orator. Hmm. Boost. Oh, we want that boost ideology of mission effect. Stage coup cost. And she's a safe cracker. Constance. Roberto, I love the brass knuckles. Escape artist. Ooh, let's go and do a recruit Constance. Now, I'm, I want two of these. Oh, actually, here. Uh, that's okay. I don't think anyone's really going to fight us. I definitely want to build a spy network down here, though. Uh, Sao Paulo. I'm going to do Sao Paulo, not Rio, just because this has more access to other tiles around them. No enemy ciphers being deciphered. Uh, we might as well do that. Why not? Brazil is our big boy target for now. Very good. Oh, Estado Novo. Let us do a royal wedding. A marriage between Dom Duarte Nuno de Bra Braganza, legitimate heir of the Portuguese throne, and Princess Maria Francisca of Orlan, daughter of the Brazilian throne pretender, will please monarchist elements in Portugal and Brazil. We get two decisions which are very important, get a lot of political power, and we get someone actually that's very important in my mind. Because we need this Yao person who gives us more political power, which is cool. But daily support for Underline is very, very important. Oops, I'll let a day go by. Awesome. Ooh, look at all this ciphering we could do. Oh. Muy bueno. Let's see. Get a lot of political power, which is good. I'm thinking about improving worker conditions. Because I definitely want that guy. Let's go ahead and improve worker conditions to improve our stability. Because stability is going to be extremely important to go monarchist. Because you don't want to have a civil war spawn. For example, what I'm talking about, with this royal wedding, it's okay. But to get the return of Duarte, we lose 20% stability. Well, not bad. Okay, it could be worse. But then to promote monarchist cause in Portugal, we lose st weekly stability by 0.5 for two years. That's a lot of stability lost. So we need as much as possible. Furthermore, then we do the restoration of the monarchy, which lowers our stability once again. But then unstable republic becomes unstable monarchy. So we get a little bit more weekly stability, but we still lose some. And if stability is below 40% of the time, this focus completes, a civil war, war will start, which is, of course, no bueno. Next up, then we'll do Monarchist Uprising in Brazil, which gives them more, you know, unaligned support. And then Empire of Brazil, which, basically, we're going to cause a civil war in Brazil. I, like I said earlier, I was trying to do this peacefully. I, it, I don't know how to make Brazil uh, become monarchist, or unaligned, really, fast enough, before, so that, that they become not aligned and stuff like that, so... Also, within this cool focus tree, ooh, securing the free world, we come over here. I do want, eventually, to get to continue pu public works, which looks pretty good, and then get another research slot, because we only have two. Two isn't much. Really not much. Get some dispersed industry. We need more guns. We need more support equipment. We need more artillery. All really, really, really important things to do. Really important. Cool. And you're building that. Intelligence. To be frank with you, at the time of this recording, I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing with building an intelligence network. I want to say I want to boost ideology, but then again, we're not even not aligned yet, so it doesn't even matter. So, a royal wedding. Now, we shall do Return of Duarte. Allowing the Duarte Nuno de Braganza to return to Portugal will not be accepted by the Republicans, but it's a necessary step for the restoration of the monarchy. Now, we got a lot of political power. Good. Let's spend it. And get this guy. More daily support for unaligned, which we already have 60%, which is awesome. And more political power. <sighs> Muy bueno. A royal wedding in Brazil. Today we have a marriage in the Petropolis Cathedral in Brazil. 
Oh, U.S., who cares about you? This marriage has not only reconciled the Portuguese and Brazilian Bragantine houses, but has also united the Miguelists and the liberal Br Braganzas, leaving behind the rivalries between the Portuguese royal family and stirring up the monarchist sediment in both countries. It is said that, following the ceremony, uh, Duarte engaged in several conversations with known Brazilian and Portuguese royalist ladies and gentlemen, where the words restoration and monarchy were openly pronounced. And this is just the beginning. Now, we do have an unreliable army, because that hurts our attack, our war support, our recruitable population, and organization, which we want to get rid of by the time we go to war with these guys, or the fascists, or people who just don't like monarchy in general. But we also got to get rid of stable, unstable republic, which is, oh. Hurts our stability. Hurts me. Ugh. Oh, and you know what? Mm, should I do this? Should I not? Daily political power gain. They get support for unaligned. Eh, it's only 25. Whatever. It's only 25. We'll do that. It's not like we need political power for too much. We can't even raise our economy law. Makes sense. I would like to get a military theorist. Jose Norton de Matos. Eventually. Still, more, still need more equipment, though. Hmm. The return shall happen soon. Oh, and we still want to build up our intelligence network. Cryptology. Oh, what are we building? Construction. Ethiopia was annexed. No one cares. Yeah, let's go do something else. I don't know what to choose next. Radio. Ooh. How about anti-partisan? Root out resistance. Or we can do government cipher school. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? I, I really don't know. So. Whatever. Uh, how are our, our divisions doing? They definitely need more resources. These cavalry divisions are eight combat width. They're not as bad as some of our other divisions, though. Um, oh, there it goes. The Civil War. Can I send divisions? To oh, that's a really tough... Holy crud. That's a tough Civil War. Negotiate licenses. Uh, not a Christian pact. I cannot send volunteers. So be it. Yeah, holy cow. I get... If you look at my uh, Anarchist Spain run, they're a little stronger than... The Nationals are a little stronger in my campaign than here. That's really weak. Uh-oh. Navy mutiny. So the Revolutionary Organization of the Fleet has organized a mutiny among our, our Navy, putting several officers under arrest. The purpose of this naval revolt, led by the destroyer Dio, is to sail to Spanish ports in the Mediterranean and take part in the Spanish Civil War, siding with the Republicans. However, the hesitation of some of the crews has hindered the success of the mutineers, and we still have the opportunity to stop them. Communist support will affect the number of rebels, ships, and their chances to leave. Oh, baby. Oh! Mutiny report! The mutiny has been crushed thanks to the swift actions taken by our loyal coastal forces. The rebels have been arrested and punished according to the treacherous acts to prevent further insubordination attempts. We have placed the crews of the ships involved in this revolt by reliable sailors affiliated with our organizations. Good. Now, I'm going to immediately go with promote the monarchist cause because... We want to become monarchists as fast as possible. We must encourage and support the monarchists in spreading the monarchist sediment among the peoples of Portugal. Muy bueno, my friend. Muy bueno. Uh, and how's this coming along? How are these people doing? Nothing over here. You are not aligned, which is... Okay, so we got to keep an eye. They have 58% stability, which is okay. Um, de decryption. Cipher. Encryption. Cryptology. Passive defense sounds pretty good. Anti-partisan? Root out resistance? Ah, uh, sure, we'll do that one. Why not? Oh, we're out of fuel. Cool. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Join them. Everyone else, go to port and repair. Hmm, Rio. Hopefully she doesn't get caught. Because I only have one person here. And yeah, you're just building that stuff up, which is good. Control trade, diplomatic pressure. Yeah, this is... I don't know about your campaigns, if you played the La Resistance DLC, if you have it or you're thinking about getting it. This is like the third time I've seen... Third or fourth time I've seen the Civil War. This is really unusual, though. Hmm. But nonetheless, we have anti-partisan stuff. Good. I do want a, at least a second spy. That'll be important. Suicide pills? Psychological warfare. Oh, wait, boost ideology. Oh, yeah, we want that one. Definitely do that. Well, it'll be okay. I'm not going to stir monarchy settlement in Portugal, though. Because that hurts our daily political power game. We lose a stability a week. 
even though we get more unaligned. That's why I want this guy, because at least for now, we'll be okay. He, he's slowly working his way up. Slowly. Besides, I might even just do, like, Institute Press Censorship. Might be a little bit easier to do, so. And this will help us give us even more unaligned support, which is very, very important. Good, it's almost done. Ah, Psychological Worker, good. Diplomatic Training. Enemy Operative Capture Chance. Commando Training. Um, Sure, we'll do that one next. I should be building more factories up, but whatever. And, boom, there you go. More technology, research, no construction stuff. Four, not much. Ah, remilitarization of the Rhineland, finally. And this restoration of the monarchy. So, 72% stability. We will proclaim the restoration of the Portuguese monarchy under the rule of D. Duarte Nuno de Braganza. Viva o rei de Portugal. We get a little bit more stability, construction speed, but we lose 10% overall. And it's... I rush for this. And then we'll make Brazil monarchies. And this does give us a little bit more time to produce a few more goods so that we are ready for any potential war. Um, yeah, I'm not ready for any of this, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Cavalry. I can't even do anything there. I need to get the minister, or theorist, so we can get Jose in here. Nice. Monarchists on the rise. Less, less, less. Ah, Brazil. Good old Brazil. 93%, nice. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, what is the situation like here? Guadalajara, Guadalajara. Founder Legion. Oh, God, no! This is exactly why you need another agent. While deployed behind enemy lines, Constance was apprehended by enemy Brazilian counterintelligence. Uh, we must mount a rescue operation. That was a really cool fade out, like the burn fade out. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. So, now we, ha we can recruit one more, which is good. Operative training. Mm, suicide pills. I might do that. Passive defense. Counterintelligence. Invisible ink. I'll do suicide pills. God dang it. I hate that when it happens. That's exactly why we need another person there. Oh, 30% done. Learning traits. Oh. The jailer's conducting interrogations to extract information about our country and operations. If not rescued in time, the operative will be executed. No! Do not execute Constance. No. She will be killed in 250 days. That's actually a lot of time. That's actually a ton of time, which is good because we don't need to prepare for the big old thing there. And you know what, actually? Let's make sure that our operations have high priority. That'll be important to prepare. Even though Spain, like, Republican Spain has the advantage here. Definitely the advantage, in my opinion. This isn't... They're not pushing as hard as I thought they would. Oh, let's see. Capture Cypher, still blueprints, Blanchia, Constance, or targeted sabotage. I like that, but I like his must I like his facial hair too. The mustache too. Constanza, uh, I'll do him. Why not? Good. Now I want you to come back down here and do. Uh, Rio's not really. There's no real. Uh, do. Oh. All right, so now can we prepare an operation? Oh, we need more intelligence. Required network strength of 30%. Now we do. So, outlook, routine. Risk 10%. Commence when ready. Agents will be delivered close to the shore by one of our submarines. Our operative is moving by car. Oh, wait. Can I choose? Oh. Rescue all of our operatives from Brazil. Select operative. Awesome. Repair. And we want to make sure we have enough guns. So I want them rescued as soon as possible. Flee, free in transit. We need to make more guns. <laughs> ah, restoration of the monarchy. There we go, my friends. Now let's go ahead and do it. The monarchist uprising in Brazil. Appealing to Brazilian monarchists will help pave the way for the restoration of the Brazilian throne. We must ensure that they prevail against any, any opposition. Awesome. Hello there. More daily political power, more weekly stability. Muy bueno. Uh, let's see. So right now, Brazil. With our focus, they're going to flip, I believe, to fascism? Yeah, they're going to flip to fascist. Fascist support, which we really don't like. But it doesn't matter. How many divisions does Brazil actually have? 
And then we'll start focusing more on industry after this. After the next focus. Um, divisions. We don't have much intel on them. They have half a million manpower, which is way more than us. Total army intel, not very much. They have four to ten divisions, so I feel okay about causing the civil war there. And you know what? In preparation, I'm going to send half the guys down here to Africa. That'll be important. I don't think Spain's going to attack me. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that. I could send half to Angola. How big is the, uh, the Brazilian Navy, according to our estimates? Navally-wise, they have 12 to 18 ships, which is similar to us, which I don't like. Oh, happy 1937, guys. Happy 1937. Good stuff. Good. You'll be the first task force that shows up. Supply probably isn't too bad here. Let's double-check it. Supply areas. Oh, yeah. I can send everyone down there, actually. That'd be fine. Should be okay. 133 political power. Awesome. Captures. Oh, am I even doing cipher stuff here? Cryptology. Oh, we are. Oh, nice. Nice. We're good. How is this operation preparing? Um... Oh, do that. That's why. There we go. Now we get some infantry equipment there. That's good. That being said, I definitely want that military theorist. But I might wait, because... I don't know. I want to get some more political power. If someone falls ill, no one cares. Awesome. Actually, can I? I can't do that. I would like to get more political power, but that's not going to happen. Democracy support, no thanks. And monarchist uprising in Brazil. The Empire of Brazil, we're going to cause civil war. I don't care. The stage is set for Prince Pedro to claim the Brazilian throne and be crowned Emperor of Brazil. Um, muy bueno. In 70-ish days, so I don't mind spending like 50 political power. Yeah, this won't matter too much. Censorship in our lands. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy. That's important. Come on, buddy. Nice that's construction one. Awesome. Let's get construction two. How is the army? They're kind of regulars, which is nice. They have a, should have enough supply, enough equipment in there. Espionage-wise, 78%. Good. What happened? Did they, did they engage the enemy? What's going on? What's going on? In, oh, in progress. Oh, and there goes the Regional Defense Council of Aragon to declare war in Spain. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Nice. Oh, it's in progress. Anarchist uprising in Spanish Civil War. The Republicans hardly need outside assistance to lose. Now this has become much more interesting. Spain, you're... Re Republican Spain, you're not doing very well. Come on. We have about a month we can do this. Hopefully we'll do okay. That look is routine. Only 10% chance that we'll get caught. All right, so our agents have been delivered close to shore by our subs. Awesome. Now we're going to move by car, or we're moving by car right now. We know the route, and send a small unit to lay ambush. Kill the guards and free our operative. Good. This is much more interesting. It's like its own little spy story. Oh. Now, our agents will lay low and blend into the population until they're ready for the next mission. Should an opportunity to arise, to exfiltrate by other means, they will take it. A week, we have one week left. Awesome. And if our Brazil will fire in two weeks. We have two weeks, my friends. Two weeks. Ah, finished. <gasps> She's back. We have her back. Okay, so. That's going to be interesting to do. Let's get back here. We completed it. Job well done, my friend. Oh, is he a linguist? Awesome. So, what are you guys... Are you both here? What's going on? Oh, we can close it. Mexican Jews. Ah, Mexico's in a civil war. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Oh, are you both at home? Oh, you're both at home. Actually, 1.5. Oh, everyone else is on the same mission. Build an intel network here. And, alright, let's go ahead and position our ships. Everyone come down here. Uh, guys, you have to, you're doing great. Be ready to move at a moment's notice. Because the Civil War is going to fire very, very soon. Three days. Two days. One day. 
Empire of Brazil. Integralist Brazil declared war on the Empire of Brazil. Ooh. Hopefully the U.S. doesn't get involved. They don't have a lot of stability. Uh, their navy. They have a few ships. You guys have... Oh, we have no idea. We have no idea what they're up to. Which is okay. So. You know what? I'm going to promote Raul. Hello, Raul. Become more offensive. Great. Do that. Oh, Sao Paulo is actually the capital. That's good. Uh, Intelligence-wise... Uh, what are we doing here? You guys, just help escort these guys for now. That'd be important. I don't think we really need to defend our area. I could be wrong. Do that, and I want to convert... I don't really need to do this area. So... Sao Paulo... I really want to get a lot of information here. This might not be worth it. Because then we can do propaganda, boost ideology, quiet intel, root out resistance. What happens if I do root out resistance over here? What's the compliance, hold on, of this? 73%. Well, actually, it's probably easier for me to see this. Minus 0 0.02 compliance. High compliance. Hmm. Eh, I'm kind of okay, but there's no resistance here, so. Let's come back here. And you guys are doing intel, boost ideology, that won't matter, resistance, control trade, diplomatic pressure. Uh, no, nah, control trade, it won't matter. Hmm. I might want to do Spain. Ah, eh, screw it, we'll do defense of our homeland. Counterintelligence, there you go. Do Lisbon. Nice. Now we have another focus. I'm not going to do remember all of Venza because we don't need to. Scroll out a little bit. Oh, what actually would be really good? Do army reorganization to remove unreliable army? So we need to reorganize the army, reducing the bloated number of officers and inefficient units, and instituting a proper draft system. This will create the foundations of a modern army. Alright guys, good luck. We're going to need it. We've done quite a few things here already. We've become... Uh, there's no airbase down here. We've become... A monarchy. We have caused a civil war in Brazil. We have established quite a few... Oh, they're already taking some tiles. That's not good. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Move, move, move. Hindenburg disaster. They're almost there. Just don't get killed on the, on the way. Good, good, good. Now spread out and defend the lands from evil Brazilians. Oh, this is not going to be good. I'm going to need... Oh, you know what? I am i don't want to do this. I need to take that off. I'll actually do that for now. That would be great. You do that. Spread out. Help defend. I don't know how many divisions they have. 5 to 17. That's not bad. Carlos Spain has arrived. And you have 1 to 4. Alright, whatever. Do not attack yet. That's okay. Oh, there's a division over there. Trap. That's not good. Come on, get to the front line. At least get to the front line. That'll be important. Oh, good. They're trapped. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Sao Paulo. And then you guys will come here. And then you guys will come here as well. And since they're busy, I might consider attacking these guys. I don't want to use these super weak divisions either. Like the divisions that only have two combat width. Or four combat width and two infantry battalions. That's not good. I need to take this guy out so that I can encircle this group down here. It'll be okay. We're doing all right. Don't worry about it. Don't 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 attack for now. We'll be okay. Help them out. Do not let these guys move either. Uh, they they kind of abandon this area. That's okay. I know this is a giant mess. I'm probably not even going to have them do all this stuff. I don't expect them to win here. I do want to free that division over here if possible, because that'll be good. Uh, we're getting attacked. Let them attack. Oh, you guys come here. Encircle, destroy. You guys attack here. Encircle, destroy. Um, horses, come down here if you can. Ah, oh, god dang it, that division was destroyed. Ah, Brazil. Are we not on this? Are you not? Yeah, we're in the same war. We lost 8,000 guys. That's not really good. Ah, uh, dispersed industry. Awesome. It's 1937. Get some better machine tools. God dang it. You know what? Just hold there, then. Because we're going to make one heck of an encirclement. 
Ah, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, my friend. Come up that way. You know, you just come there. As you guys are looking around, good. You keep these guys distracted. We're gonna kill that division off. All right, they want to do that. Um, you guys come that way. Horses are going to be incredibly important here. Now we cannot afford to lose here. That's not good. Um, hold. Just keep distracting the horses. We'll do great. Come on. You can't move. How to get that tile? There you go. Now, oh come on. Beat him up. Smack him. Smack him a little harder. Do that. Oh, I got in circle down here. Oh, that's not good. So, oh, that's a mess. Yeah, you guys come there. Uh, do that, and then come back up north. This is a giant mess. Come on, clamp down on him. Clamp down. You guys... What the hell? No, I don't want you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Stop attacking, stop attacking, stop attacking. Attack there. You guys, come right... Uh, come right there. Move down that way. You come over here and do that. We're still trying to kill this division off, which was really sucking hard. Whatever. Keep moving, keep doing. Ah! Oh, good. We get a little more attack, more war support. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab... Continue the public works. So, thanks to the state's regulations of our government implemented after years of precarious financial situations, we have managed to stabilize our economic situation and we should keep investing in public projects to stimulate our infrastructure. Great. But unfortunately, my friends, that is all the time for that we have today. What have we done? Like I said earlier, we've made ourselves uh, monarchists. Spain is definitely having a time. We're having definitely a time with Brazil, the evil Brazilians as well, which they don't like to die. I guess makes sense. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Consider leaving a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we shall make sure that we unite the kingdoms of Brazil and Portugal together. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.